Discover the vibrant charm of Pride, Victoria. From scenic hikes to charming local shops, there's something for everyone. Join us on a journey through this picturesque town where adventure meets relaxation. Let's explore together. Alright, we are in the town of Smoko and are saying that it's 2.4 k's to the journal. So what I'm going to do here is um, well drive up to the to the corner and I'll turn the camera around and just record going into the campsite itself uh, just to show you where the entry is. It's so, going to look sick. It's, uh, it's apparently it's right on the river. It's We're about 11 k's out of Bright going towards Harriet Villa if that makes sense. Smoko Creek Road, there you go, no camping, that's all right, we're not camping. All right, so I'm going to turn the camera around here and we'll film going into the um, park itself. Or, what do we call it? Campground. Campground. Okay, 200 metres, 170 metres. I hope it's not that one because it's 100. Yep, that was it. Take two. They're saying it's two wheel drop access, so. You sort of always worry about these big widow makers, but uh, this one has had them all chopped off. So, anyway, Onwards. so we're gonna go down and check the creek out, aren't we, Harry? We are <laughs> it's because everyone's already camped here, but it is beautiful. This is, I think, I believe this is the top end of the Ovens River, Harry. But I'll have to check that out. I'll... Do you see any trout? What's the water temperature like? I could definitely stand in the water. Too cold to. Uh... I thought it'd be colder. Oh. A little homemade weir here. That's pretty good. Cool. Little swing spot. I'm not ordering in that way. Run on the water up that way. Cool. The water's so clear. 
Yes, it is very clear. We've got a uh, big thunderstorm hiding over the back here. We don't know if we're going to cop it. But, uh, so we don't want to leave camp so too far. But we're going to go uh, for a bit of explore tomorrow. Today we just sort of get here. We left after work, so we couldn't stuff around too much. And uh, yeah, tomorrow, well, the next day, I'll try and get on the water and have a fish. But, um, just sitting here listening to this all night will be... We're, we're probably, um, I don't know, the, the car behind there and then our campsite. So, we're probably only 200 metres from the water. I know that was the closest campsite we could get. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. Take the photo. So over my shoulder here, you'll see that uh, Harry is cooking dinner. I'm going to turn this around. So we're on the new Osbry that Nikki bought me for Father, or Nikki and Harry bought me for Father's Day. So we're cooking. What are the, what are flavoured sausages are they, Chef? Texas chili, I think. Texas chili. So we're having some hot sausages on the barbie. Oh, I've got to do that again. Harry, show us how that works. So to add more heat to the sausages, you can bring it in like that. And then to add less heat, or remove heat. And you can also lift it up and down with those notches there. So that's really cool. So we're up. Let's go. I am hungry. I am hungry too. So let's cook this dinner tonight. Yummo. Alright Harry, you gotta have a just a taste test of those sausages for me. Oh okay. Checking if it's not poison. No, I wanna see how hot they are. <laughs> oh wow. They spicy? Woo! They spicy? Sort of yeah. <laughs> Hey, let the fire go out, we're just, sorry about the smoke, but yeah, we've got uh, big storefronts just come over the hill here, um, everything's changed, it's dropped, what did you say, about five degrees, Harry? Oh my god, yeah. And, uh, yeah, right on, right on nightfall, so we've had dinner, so that's a good thing. Uh, the storm's coming from the other side. So the caravan's going to protect the awning. It's strapped down pretty good. So uh, we'll see if I've got to fold it in uh, later on. I'll fold it in. But for now, we're just batting down the hatches. This is fun. All right, we are. Uh, we had our first night's sleep uh, at Smoko. Smoko campgrounds. Smoko campgrounds, yeah. So we're going out for the day. We'll see what we can find. Uh, Harry and I like to do missions, so we we do a little bit of research. We do a little bit of googling, but we like to find stuff on the way. So we're going to go and find a heap of stuff to do today, and uh, hopefully we can share it with you. Yeah. All right. So this is the busy little town of Bright. Now, from all reports, Bright used to um, only get busy during the snow or the winter months but now that it's really cool to ride bikes and scooters and stuff 
There's people everywhere. This is like January. But it is a beautiful place. Lots of family history, which we are going to show you. Uh, now, we're going to go and find... Uh, what is it? Your great-great-great-grandfather's... Gravestone. Gravestone, yeah. It has been a while since I've been here, so... What I'm going to do is go in and check it out. Harry's going to check it out. Names in the list. Pretty sure it's straight up here. We haven't found the um, last time we're here in the visitable. So, I don't know if you'll be able to read that on the camera, but that's uh, Anne Goldie and his son Robert in memory of beloved husband Thomas Goldie, 1892. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm kind of positive this is a new bridge. I think the last time we were here, we are still going over the old one, so I don't know. Well, look, it's very, very pretty here. This is the start of the Goldie Spur. The Buckland Riot in early 1857, Chinese gold seekers. seekers began arriving at Buckland Goldfields in large numbers. Many of the non-Chinese population were arranged by apparent threat. Oh. Oh Look at that. So, that's a new, yeah, this is a new bridge. In the summer of 1844 to 1845, Thomas Buckland, with Thomas Goldie as head stockman, arrived in the upper reaches of the Ovens Valley with a mob of 640 cattle after passing through the Myrtle Creek Run. After a brief reconnoitre, he decided that the rich grazing plains of the lower Buckland Valley offered the best prospects. They pitched their tents, then both went to work on building a wattle and daub house and rough stockyards before the winter came. The spring of 1845 saw him thoroughly explore the upper regions of both the Ovens and Buckland rivers. To prevent his stock from straying too far up the Buckland and beyond, he decided to build another house some 10 miles up from Port Punker as he first named the location of his home. There, at the foot of what is now known as Goldie Spur, he installed Thomas Goldie with instructions to see that the herd was kept within the valley confines in winter months. Dry conditions and scarcity of food forced Buckland and Goldie to high grazing country at the south end of Mount Buffalo, which runs for several miles on the west side of the Buckland River. From Buckland's obituary, obtained from the Mitchell Library, it is evident that Buckland and Goldie found that cattle had discovered easy access to the plains around the Horn and had followed their tracks there. They were thus the first white men to ascend the mountain. Buckland had somehow acquired a knowledge of botany and whilst mustering in the autumn of 1847, noted the location of several new plant species he had found. But with cattle prices low and markets far away and in financial trouble, Buckland returned to work with the firm of Walker Rose who had trading posts in Fort Street in Sydney. PJ Smith was left in charge at Port Bunker and Gordy up on the Buckland.
So it's only a little sign now. There used to be a big, big wooden sign here. But, yeah, Goldie Square Track. That way. Walk up the top to see what's. You can walk. Okay. Oh. Now, <laughs> I've pulled the pin. I'm not going up there. Um, abilities and ambitions and all that sort of thing. Um, that is a fair angle of you watch Harry walking up there. Obviously, lots of people do it, but I'm not going to be one of them. So, I'm going to uh, find somewhere to turn around, and I'm going to turn around, but I'm not going any higher. So, anyway, pooing thy pants. happy with that. Um, we're not, uh, Harry and I both, get in the shot of you, Harry. Hi. Harry and I just uh, do not like heights. We're both shit right in the heights and some of this, there's the river down there, uh, some of this is really, really been steep. Uh, we went up a couple of off tracks and that to do some four wheel driving and uh, yeah, it was a bit scary, but I reckon that might be the lake in the background over there, Harry. Buffalo Lake. Yeah. So now we're going to, um, bring me in more. Now we're going to just work our way down to um, have some lunch and do a bit of uh, pedal boarding on one of the rivers or something. Pedal, paddle. Paddle. Paddle boarding. Paddle boarding. Pedal. So, yeah, anyway, that was uh, that was a really good track. It's uh, We filled up at um, Bright with Buell and I reset my thingos. So from Bright to here, we're currently at 50 kilometres. So it's quite windy, um, but the track is awesome. Like you get, you can do it in all-wheel drive car, uh, 
and pretty much with low clearance. I mean, the track is is good, good quality. Um, mm. Shaley dirt and rocky and whatnot. Yeah, we uh, apart from one stretch, we haven't even put it in four wheel drive. So uh, the whole main track, the whole of Goldie Spur, has been in two wheel drive only. So uh, yeah. Anyway, we'll get back to this and uh, see you uh, on the water. Let's hope we don't crash. Let's hope. Lakes, you say? Lake Buffalo. Alright, so this lake out to the right here is Lake Buffalo. So we've just done a track from Bright all the way out. Now we're at Lake Buffalo. So we're going to find some sort of access area and um, how are we going to have a bit of a paddle, 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 paddle. Ball. Not a paddle. Anyway, you can see there'll have to be a boat ramp or something. It's so good. Yeah, so what lake was that? Uh, lake Buffalo. Lake Buffalo. So Harry's just had a session of probably an hour at Lake Buffalo. We're still driving alongside it here. Um, it's quite long. 
We're down in the five knot zone to get away from the boats and that. We could hear ski boats and jet skis up further. And just when we were just about to finish a couple of jet skis, had to ruin the fun and come down into the five knot zone and you know swing out really close to Harry. But at that stage, I didn't have um, the camera it's on. Fine. So I'm just trying to look here. Yeah, car made a noise, so I'm just checking. So. Yeah, so out here uh, is the, the lake itself. Uh, so we can turn that around. So out that side you can see there. I don't know what fish are in it, I'll have to research that. We're out of phone range, so. Um, I know there's goldfish. Yeah, we didn't get a photo of it. No, but we got the. Oh, you, did you get footage on that? Or, yeah. yeah, I kept it recording, so. Yeah. You'll probably see me catching it. Big, uh, big red goldfish. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll keep going down here. Uh, this road, apparently, um, so we've done the whole Goldie Spur. This road apparently does uh, it comes up back over the mountains over there, and then all the way back to um, Myrtleford. So we'll go into Myr we'll go, yeah, we'll go into Myrtleford here. Uh, we might call into that berry farm. Oh yeah. Uh, so that's on the in between. Myrtleford and your Yeah. Oh, so, we'll, yeah, we'll go and check that out. Cool. Yeah, because it's 30 kilometers different at the same time, it's slower. Mm. Where's he driving? Oh, he's on a waterboard. Oh. Damn it. Whoa. Oh, berries on the vines. Buffalo Berry Farm. Buffalo Berry Farm. I've heard good things about this place. We're gonna try and have some dessert. Mmm. Berry pie. Mm. Oh my god. Thank you very much. Thank you. Look at that. Berry big shake. Yeah, I'm gonna put this here. I'm turn this around so you can see what Harry's having. Berry cup. Berry cup? Did you get me? Look at that. Hang on. Alright, what do you got, Harry? A berry cup. Berry cup, and what's the other thing? This? Yeah, hmm. a berry milkshake. Well, tell me. Tell me all about it. What's it taste like? Good. That's what it tastes like after not eating for after only eating meat pies mm. and then I'm having Ooh. I'll get this right that which is a berry pie and a coffee death by berry death by berry what's the name of the place isn't it buffalo berry farm buffalo berry farm there we go check it out buffalo berry farm take two that's nah, just, that's got all of this. You got all of it? So what we're doing here is cooking dinner in the camp oven with a storm in the background. So hopefully you'll hear some of the thunder. Harry's just gonna check with the uh, bare hands. Temperature. 82. Seal the lid. 82, now that's too low. Yeah. So it's got to move in a little bit. Can I? Move it in a little bit. Hello? Right, you need to, might need to spin it around like you know you did with the sausages last night. Spin the Listen thing. to this thunder, will you? This is crazy. Spin this around? Yeah. Put this 
I just wanted away from me. Sit it down. Um, as you can see, we've come to a slight inconvenience with this weather, so I'm stuck inside the van, as you can see I have the door, he's keeping the fire going, you can see him, there he is, oh, very troublesome, go on, yep. new invention, Stray made, it's called a fan forced oven. All the wood's wet, so uh, I'm just using the fan to keep dinner alive. Wow. Running the fan forced oven. <laughs> wow, I feel sorry for everyone else. I wonder how everyone went in the tent, so. Mm. Crazy. That's deep. Oh, look at that. It's going to taste better because it was in the rain. Those potatoes look ready to me. Stand out of the way. They look pretty good. Mm. So we're putting that inside. Yeah. I'm not going to take it out of the plastic yet. Well, I'm not going to take the oven off the heat yet until I've checked this out. Can I have some lights, please? Is this one left here? Oh, there. I see it. Remove this. Move this all up. It's alright. What matters is not to damage the cameras. Oh, I think. Ready. I'm just going to have to get it out of the bag. And I think the package just said remove bag, so. Hmm. 
Oh yeah. Um, give me your plate. Yep. Oh, look at that. Now I've got some salad in the other fridge I'll get in a minute, all right? Yep. My plate? Yep. Oh, I can use this one. Oh, yeah. Do you want me to put this plate away? No, no, Okay. I think we did all right. I think so. I need some... Salad. Is that in the fridge? In the other fridge. In the other fridge. We'll do that outside. Um, just trying to get a little bit of this juice. Hi, Harry. Sit down. Here we are. I'll bring the table out a little bit now. Oh, yeah, we could, yeah. There you go. Thank you. Got it? Oh, the nice and fox up there. I didn't smell it. Alrighty, eh? Tell us. Have you taste? Oh, oh. 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 It's uh, melts off the bone. Yeah. Oh, that's yummy. Better than those sausages. We those sausages were like uh, spiders. Oh, they're cooked perfect too. Oh. Considering we had a storm halfway through, you can that off. Nine out of ten. Mm.